Well, I'm almost caught up on the videos. The Buick that was there is gone. It's over there now. The woman says once you boost it, it runs great. How do you like that? So that video was from yesterday. Now it's today. And I had this little piece of tin here I was going to throw away. That was left over from the grad support. It went right there. Pisser did a beautiful job fixing it. So I took out the bolt that was over here so I could have some spare bolts. Never have enough spare nuts and bolts. Then the, there was a little nylon. I guess it's a captive nut, nylon captive nut for the turn signal. And it was partially chopped off, but still serviceable. So I was about to throw it away. I said, well, you know, you never know. You never know when you need one of these little plastic captive nuts that you pop into the square hole for a license plate, etc. Then I was driving the Subaru and I noticed that the marker light was loose like heck. So, wouldn't you know it, that the screw was just sitting in the square hole and the nylon was missing. So, haha! -ha, popped out the little piece of nylon and it's sitting in there underneath the screw right now. And then, this headlight's loose. It's actually busted in the back. Kind of sits all right, more or less. And then, the fans were only attached with one bolt each, so I tapped those with a 6.3 by one millimeter, 6.3 millimeter by one tap. Made in USA, use drill number three. Craftsman, we have had this set for over 20 years, probably 25 years. So I tapped out these and they're kind of sort of weak, the bolts barely hold down. I got those four bolts and then the rad support that I got from the junkyard was the wrong, now this is junk. Tin chap scrap. The rad support that I got is the wrong one. And it is. I forget where I put it. I got so much junk. So I went through my box. I'll show it to you. I went through my box that I got from the junkyard. I was throwing all the parts in. I got a trailer adapter to turn the orange light into a red flasher. I got some windshield wipers. I got a crappy air filter. I got a turn signal. A timing cover. And, you know, just little odds and ends. You throw them in the box and you never know when you need them. Like that bolt right there. So I went through all my crap. Well, I was telling you this. Oh yeah, I found that I had one radiator support with a little hood catch holder right there. So I went to put it on and it doesn't, doesn't line up. See, those two bolts are there and the rad rubber is right there. But on this one, it was offset to the left of the two holes. It should have been over there. So this radiator is from a different model because it also has the exact same sticker. And the sticker shouldn't appear in both spots, so I took that, I flattened this area out here that was normally supposed to wrap down there to locate. I flattened that in the bench vise, and I drilled it and filed the hole bigger and tapped the threads clean and installed this radiator bracket. So now the radiator is held in with one bolt, one bracket. It needs one more. It would be nice if I had those timing covers but they're hard to install because you have to take off the timing gears and I guess I'll just pass on that. That's how tight a timing belt is, that's it. No tension. So I got the air cleaner, hosey on, I got the hood locating gizmo on, I got all the hood hinges and door hinges all lubed up. I changed the oil, I filled the filter before I installed it, the windshield wiper bottle was loose because the bolts were busted off on the strut so I just put some self-tapping screws in with some fender washers and what else did I do oh yeah most of the biggest car makers are reporting a significant increase in yeah selling new cars I hate these beepers Volkswagen you can trip that thing to hold it in and when you close the door it untrips it so it resets tighten the emergency brake right down there has taken a step aimed at easing the euros oh shut up so I got the emergency brakes nice and tight now, and I found some coins buried underneath here. Ah, look at what that sensor does. Ireland's Prime Minister, Enda Kenny, greeted the result with relief rather than celebration. Uh -huh. the sensor of some sort there. Beep. I got to vacuum this thing out. It is a mess. I got the shifter. Bolt change. That was in yesterday's video. Let's tear this right off. 
This rubber looks after a real estate and banking crash. Rinky dink. For a new Off it comes. Gone. So favored by Germany as a thinking rubbers. Debt crisis has failed, and that the treaty means nothing. Nice those doors close. Never any oil on the hinges, and they closed perfectly. I had the brake rotors buffed. Yesterday I took the wheels off and I buffed the rust off with a rapid strip disc. So the brake pedal's nice and smooth now. And one of the bolts that holds the caliper on needed to be looped up. I'm gonna spray some black paint in here because it's red from someone going over some, running over a body maybe in blood and I've been rubbing off the compound. Smooth paint out, genuine Subaru. So, that's about it. Been having a good time here getting this thing ready to sell. I'm gonna put it up for sale. And ask top dollar, I suppose, and go out west or down south to Charlotte or Asheville or Jonesboro, Tennessee, and buy me a Subaru six-cylinder extra super duper complicated with heated seats. Now, last thing I'm gonna do here is run a self-tapping drill screw in to the fog light. Pisser didn't install me, he said one of the bolts was stripped. So I took off the fog light and it turns out that it wasn't stripped. How it works is the bolt goes into another threaded nut with a coarse thread. So if the bolt breaks, if this bolt breaks, you can take the nut out of the bumper support. Sort of like what you put into a sheetrock wall. Interesting, huh? So, I don't have one of these from the junkyard. Go figure that I would have needed one. I just took off the fog light. So, I'm just gonna put a self-tapping screw right up through there and the next person can fix that right up. Get one of these special nut, nut nuts. It's a nut nut. Fog lights even work, I tested them. Good place to stash stuff, right in there, like a squirrel. All right, having a good time. All right, we're almost done. Clutch pedal to the floor. Boy, it's got a long clutch travel. Crank her up. Reverse, click. Small mirrors. And down the hatch we go. I already ran the uh, Subaru right over the end of the ramp. I wasn't paying attention as closely as I should, and the one wheel was hanging over the edge of the ramp. Jackknife my trailer, am I? Oh yeah, I gotta fix that back. Oop. Nice and strong now. When I bought this car, the tailgate was unlocked. I was able to just open the tailgate by doing that. Now it won't open. And I tried the key with a vice grip and I sprayed the heck out of it and I can't get in there, so I'm gonna have to pull off the gonna have to pull off the cover, which is already half off. And open it from inside. I have no idea why it doesn't open. Subaru Honda. So yeah, so the tailgate. Got the seat folded down. Let's see. I noticed when I bought this Subi Ruby, the tailgate cover was off, so let's see, there's the lock. I wonder which way is unlocked. And there's the rod for the handle. Oh, that was easy enough. Huh. I wonder which way is locked. Clockwise outside. Counterclockwise. Push that down. Clockwise to the right. 
unlocks it. Yep. Oh. And I am out back. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Oh. Wonder what the problem is. Rusted. Wonder why I don't have the key to that. Back to the junkyard. Hmm. Simple enough to do. Uh, I hate rust. Hate it. At least the struts stay up. Spare tire. No air in it. Flat. Subaru Banana Box. All right, I got that taken care of. Oh, those work well. Out back. <laughs>